function? Combat Assault. Motto, I take a licking and keep on kicking. A rolling bucket of bolts always looks like he just lost a demolition derby. Willing to take big risks on the battlefield because he's in such a state of disrepair. A deadly devastating warrior adept at ramming his enemies and then running them over. Nail studded tires can tread over anything. Also able to emit vicious oil slicks that send his enemies into a tailspin. Armed with heavy duty rocket launchers that fire mercury tipped explosives. Hey everyone, Soundwave884 here. The Transformers Blast from the Past Review. I hadn't done one of these in probably about a year, so I'm way behind on making these a weekly or bi weekly occurrence. But today we're going to take a look at 1988's TriggerCon Ruckus, one of the Decepticons. He is Combat Assault. Here he is in his dune buggy mode. He's probably about one of the best looking trigger cons I still have. He's not all, his stickers are looking all right there, there, and there. And his paint is doing pretty good. I sort of dusted him off. Gimmick still works, pendant tires. It looks pretty cool. I actually like this little figure. Got him back in 1988. I got a lot of the trigger bots and trigger cons. I didn't get them all though. This one is one. It was one of my favorites when I got him. And I, he was a well played with toy. See here, he's got the purple plastic going on with this uh, creamy uh, yellow plastic back here. We got this grayish blue paint here on the front of the Doom buggy. I guess for windows, or is it supposed to represent like space? Like there's nothing there, but they're just trying to fill it in with that. And that's just like you're seeing through the Doom buggy because this is like the cage right here. Uh, Coming inside, you got the stickers on the side. Pinned in tires. Comes to the back side. So back here, we got the button. That's for the gimmick. It works better in robot mode. In vehicle mode here, it just kind of fills in the sides. So if you hit it here, there it goes. I gotta do it twice. It still works, but it doesn't really do much for uh, vehicle mode. That's really gonna help out in robot mode. In the side here, the sticker looks pretty good as well. Some molded details here on the side. The tires have these little uh, things on the edges, which they say are nail spike tires in the bio. Turn to the front. Visible like knee syndrome going on here. It's 1988. It's forgivable. It rolls still very well. And it's a nice looking transformer. So we're going to do a few scale comparisons here in vehicle mode with some current and past transformers. All right, here we are next to Titans Returns. I believe it is Wheelie. And we got the KBB Hornus Agent Bumblebee. This is the oversized KO of New Age's Bumblebee. Next to Earthrise, Sunstreaker, and Thrilling 30, Windblade. Next to Origins, Jazz, Power of the Primes, Beachcomber. And next to G1, Blitzwing, and G1, Throttlebot, Rollbar. Alright, let's get to the transformation of this guy. He's very easy, very simple here. I'm going to go ahead and trick him out to do that. I only had it once that time. Grab his legs here. We're going to bend these back this way. And fold it over. There you go, he's transformed. <laughs> Voila! A one-step changer. Now this here, we can put it back here. Because that's his action feature when he's in robot mode. He'll sit there and he's battling the Autobots. And they're coming at him. Here comes Rollbar. And he's like, like Megatron in the 86 movie. Die, Autobots! And he's going to kill him. So we hit the button. Come over. Boom, 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 boom. I get there we go. He shot Rollbar and then killed Rollbar. So we can take a look at the robot mode here. Nice face. He's got this uh, sort of a neon or yellowish green face. It's kind of like it looks kind of sad. I wish they would have uh, done his eyes. But this G1 back then, this is you're lucky the face got some paint. But it was like one solid color. Uh, the eyes sometimes got painted, most times did not. They just painted the entire face one color. We got this purple plastic here that you use on the front here in the arms for his legs and arms for his head. Got some nice molding details here on the chest, abdomen, and waist. Little lines done here on the upper legs, the thighs. You can see his articulation is going to be very, very limited. So they molded in his hands, closed fists. Got some thumbs right here on the side. And his arms do move. They are they catch it like a little tab back here. They like catch that little peg. There's this little hole here. So you get that. Uh, his, you say hollow, but I mean, he's not like he's deep, but yeah, he's just sort of just there. Turn it out here. So articulation on this figure, you can tell what it is. You got arms. They can go up to here. You move the gimmick back to his back. You can go all the way to there. And that's what you got. Now you got shoulders, arms that do that. And that's it. Legs, you I mean, you got knees for this, but I mean, that's just really transformation. He's not going to stand or anything that way. 
So let's take some comparisons here with other transformers. All right, some comparisons here. Power of the Primes Beachcomber, G1 Throttlebot Rollbar, Legacy Skullgrin. Yeah, so for G1, he's all plastic. There's no uh, die cast. By this point, die casts have been phased out. Uh, die cast was more popular beginning because it was cheaper when they did those, but then it got more expensive. I think plastic got cheaper, so they did this. Uh, get his gimmick over here. Now, well, he's, he's not a bad looking transformer. I mean, his G1 is really a one step change. You fold his legs where he's transforming, you just got to unpeg his arm. So, you really, it's two steps three if you count each arm individually so there's not much anything to the actual figure in robot mode it is a fun little transformer if you're eight years old six years old five years old i mean hey it was the 80s the transformers at that point weren't all that you know detailed and articulated some might have some some did not even the die cast ones had like legs that were stuck together with metal bars and stuff so you didn't get all this articulation that we get nowadays but as a little transformer back from 1988 it's still a fun little guy and if you're a g1 collector don't skip out on the trigger cons and trigger bots they can be fun because they do have a gimmick feature back here and you say nowadays when they build gimmicks into the toys you can say that hampers with the transformation but sometimes gimmicks are fun especially for kids when you get a toy gimmick or an action feature it can ramp up the playability and the excitability with the toy and they also get the kids imagination pumping anyway thanks for watching this blast from the past review till next one peace out